I'm going to show you how to remove the Network Manager application, which is installed by default in Ubuntu. Um, I believe, in my perspective, it's much easier and straightforward to configure your network interfaces manually in an LTSP setup, so that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to log in. We're going to use the command line for this, the uh, shell. So we're going to go to Applications, Accessories, and Terminal. And now, this is our little GNOME Network Manager applet. Um, Network Manager basically likes to reconfigure interfaces for you sometimes. I've run into issues personally a few times with Network Manager, and I just feel that it's much, much easier to deal um, with configuring things manually and not have to worry about what Network Manager is going to do. So to remove it, we're going to do sudo app get purge remove network hyphen manager. And that's going to uninstall the network manager and the GNOME applet for network manager. So as we can see, the network manager applet's gone. Now what we want to do is configure our interfaces manually. So to do that, we're going to edit our interfaces file. Now in most cases we want to add a static entry for our primary network interface for LTSP networks, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to remove that, and we're going to go static. First entry is address. We'll just make it 10.0.2.100. And these are the correct settings for my network. They're going to obviously vary for whatever network you're setting this up on, so you want to research what the correct entries are for that. And we're going to save this file, and we're going to bring up our first interface. Now if we look at this interface, we'll see that our IP address is correct. And if we look at our route table, we're going to see that our default gateway should be correct. We're going to test that out. And that seems to be working. Uh, one thing that you do want to make sure is still correct for your network is your uh, resolve.com file. So we're going to look at that. That's going to translate DNS names into IP addresses. And this is the correct name server for my network. Again, you're going to want to modify this if it's incorrect for yours um, and put in your correct DNS servers. You can put in additional name server entries simply by hitting enter and putting another name server stanza in there. And that is how to manually configure your network interfaces.